Hello and welcome to the annual financial report instructions webinar. This is Mickey Shields with the Iowa League of Cities and we hope you find this webinar helpful along with other options in this year's series. As a reminder, you can access archived webinars from previous webinar series on the League website at www.iowaleague.org. Before we begin, I want to first thank the League's endorsed programs for their continued support of city governments and the League. I also want to thank our sponsors of this webinar, ISG and Spear Financial. We appreciate their involvement with the League and for helping cities across the state find successful solutions. To begin, I would like to go over a couple things about the webinar. The League's webinars are free to access and view on our website at any time. Any handouts are available on the website as well. Finally, please send any questions to the League and we'll be happy to answer them. Mary Beth Sprouse from Iowa State University Extension will take you through the annual financial report, which must be completed and filed by each city by December 1 of each year. The AFR summarizes the previous fiscal year's revenues and expenditures, helping provide transparency of a city's financial condition and giving cities a better sense of their fund balances. Let's hear more on this topic from Mary Beth. Hello, and welcome to the training video for preparing the annual financial report for FY 2017. I'm your host, Mary Beth Sprouse. In mid-July, your city should have received a letter from the Auditor of State's office. That letter indicated that the workbook for the annual financial report, also known as the AFR, was ready and is posted on the Auditor of State's website for you to use. The AFR is due to the Auditor of State by December 1st each year. Let's take a closer look at that letter. This letter reminds you that the Iowa Code requires certain information be included in the annual finance report and that that information is used to prepare the annual certified budget. Property taxes will not be levied for the following year if a city fails to comply with submitting your annual finance report. So it's very important to get the December 1st due date on your calendar. So let's get started and get this report finished. A good place to start is the Auditor of State's website. Its web address is auditor.iowa.gov. When you get to that website, you want to find the AFR tab and click it. When you click it, an entire page for annual finance reports pops up. It gives you several options. The first is the option to search for previously submitted annual finance reports. If you need your finance report from last year or any other previous year, you may use this link to search for it. The second link on the page is where you will download your workbook so that you can complete the 2017 AFR. We'll come back to that in a moment. The next link will take you to the upload instructions. When you are ready to submit your completed annual finance report, these are the instructions that you can use to do so. The last link on the page is the Upload website. This is where you will go to find the Upload portal. Now, let's go back and download the 2017 AFR Excel Spreadsheet Workbook. When you click the link, it will open a download. You will want to right-click on the link and click Save Link. Your pop-up window may look like this. You're going to need to select a location to save your workbook. Be sure to locate your file on your computer somewhere that you can find it again. Write down your location or path. In this case, I have chosen to save my AFR on the desktop. It makes it quick and easy access for me both to work on the AFR and when it comes time to upload it for submission. There's a few things that you need to have ready before you start to try to complete your annual finance report. The first thing you need are records from all of your bank accounts and investments, and they need to have been reconciled. You will also need your general ledger fund balance with the total of bank accounts, investments, petty cash, and other resources. Again, it should be complete with reconciliations for each month. You will need to have identified all intergovernmental payments. These intergovernmental payments may be money that you received 
from another city for use of your library. Or it may be funds that you're paying out to another entity through a 28E agreement for police or fire protection. You will need the total that you paid in payroll during the fiscal year. You may already have this available if you choose to publish your gross salaries on the fiscal year instead of the calendar year basis. You will need to have a list of each of your bond issues and long-term notes. On that list, you will need to know what the amount of the issue was at the beginning of your fiscal year, which was July 1, 2016. You will need to know how much was paid in principal and how much was paid in interest for each note. You will also need to know the amount and type of debt added if you took out any more debt during this fiscal year. And finally, you will need to know the ending balances of any of your bonds or notes as of the end of the fiscal year, June 30th, 2017. All of this information may be found on your outstanding debt report, which is due August 31st. But you'll need more than that. You will need a copy of last year's annual financial report. If you don't have a copy handy, that's okay. Remember just a minute ago, we looked at the Auditor of State's website, and the first link I showed you was how to pull up previous reports. You can use that if you don't have a copy available. You will also need your last amended budget. If the city did not amend a budget during FY17, then use the originally submitted FY17 budget document. And finally, you'll need some details. You're going to need a breakdown of your revenues by fund, and you're going to need a breakdown of your expenditures by fund. Your expenditures also need to be categorized into current operations, purchase of land and equipment, and construction. To help you navigate this video, there will be five separate segments. You have already finished the first segment, which was the introduction. You may watch this video as many times as you'd like, either in its entirety or just in sections. If there is a piece you feel like you're struggling with, by all means, just watch that section. If page 13 is giving you trouble, you can watch that part as many times as you wish. I'm going to refer to the sections of this video as part one, part two, page 13 is part three, and part four, which is wrapping it all together and submitting it to the auditor. So let's go ahead and get started. 